and you, short one. Now you face a foe more terrible even than I. The only other foe whom I have ever faced who bested me. Hold, fiend. You'll walk not one more step toward the light of day, so long as I am here. Theseus, the hero of Athens. And as the bull, as the bull of Minos so rightly put it, Theseus is the one who slew Asterius. I don't know any anything else much about his uh, tales other than he's a Greek hero. Theseus, no way. You two are legends. I'd be honored if we had a sporting contest here. Also, yes, this is exactly why I say this boss battle is hard. You fight two bosses at once. Asterius and Theseus at the same time. Plus side though, if you did encounter Asterius as a mini boss prior to this, he starts off with less health. So there's a positive, I guess. It still doesn't mitigate the fact you're fighting two enemies at once. Uh, a naked attempt to sway me from my convictions. Defend yourself, you blaggard. And may the gods show you some mercy, for I shall not. Oh yeah, Theseus is a right royal asshole. Alright, let's do this. Usually my strategy for this is to... Uh, ow. Not worry about... Uh, Theseus. But mostly just watch out, because he's got a throwing... Uh, a trident that he can... Or a spear he can throw. So watch out for the marker on it on you. And watch out for when he starts... Uh, when he starts... Uh, like, charging forward and stuff. My prime target for this is to go after the Bull of Minos first. Oh, shit. I thought I was dashing past him. I was not. There we go. Asterius is already into his, uh... Second, uh... Second phase, which is good. And I've still got some health left. Uh-oh. We didn't see that fight in our mini-boss fight, but, uh... Asterius can start charging. I find the easiest way to deal with him is just, uh... Is to just get him to uh, run into something. Oh, shit. I'm not doing so hot. There we go, Asterius is down. Alright, dealing with Theseus is infinitely easier. So he throws the uh, javelin and then turns around, allowing you to strike him. Because otherwise that shield makes him impervious to damage. His only other move he's got is, as you saw, that uh, forward attack. Alright, I've got full call now. But much like Asterius, he also has a mid... Uh, Mid-form. So, oh, shit. So I'm going to wait until he unleashes that. Here we go. So what he does here is kind of random, but not exactly. What he will always do is invoke the power of a god. Uh, depending on the god depends on the buff or power that he gets. In this case, he's just invoking the power of Zeus, so he'll just start dropping lightning bolts on me. Oh, this is actually really bad. There we go. Alright, he's almost dead. And I still have a death defiance. That's positive. Just gotta stay out of the way of his attack and the lightning bolts. Oh my god, I did it. Holy shit! Whew! It for a bit. Holy fuck, I did it! Whoo! My pulse is going hard. And for that, we gain an ambrosia. Which, uh, 
won't be worth anything for a while. <laughs> Ambrosia is kind of a... Thanks. Ambrosia is a long investment. Holy shit, though. Oh my god, I can't believe I took down Theseus. Oh, I do not like dealing with that boss battle. Once I get better and I later have more death defiances and I get like more health and stuff like that, I'm way better equipped to take care of him and I can deal with him and Asterius without losing a death defiance. And then usually I save the Skelly death defiance for this uh, for this next region. I can do this. I can do this. Temple of Sticks, the final area. At last, the willful prince has ventured all the way up to the surface of the mortal realm. Yet still, he is encased within the earth itself. The gateway to the underworld, a threshold from which there is no escape. We'll see about that. These urns have coin in them. Oh no, not this. Multi-headed Cerberus stands vigilant before the underworld's entryway. The tales of what happens to those foolish enough to attempt to pass are far too graphic to describe. So it's really come to this, boy. After everything we've been through. Well then, this is how it has to be. There's nothing left to say. Except for, on your guard. <laughs> no, but seriously, boy. I know why you're here. There has to be a way to make you look the other way. What if I help you with the satyr problem? Would you let me go? Please. I have to find Persephone. My mother. You know what this means to me. <laughs> After a moment's hesitation and deliberation, the voracious hound of hell barks once affirmatively toward the prince, who sets off in search of something that can sate the monster's appetites. Good. Now I just need to head off the beaten path here and see what I can find. So here we semi have a boss encounter. Semi, not really. It's kind of played that way, but it really isn't. We have five rooms that we can enter in. They are random. Random in that we don't know what goes where. We know the items that are inside of it, but one of them has a fountain inside of it and a satyr sack. The Seder Sack will appease Cerberus and allow us to leave. Also off to the right, we have Charon. Charon is selling a ton of wares and does not disappear, and his wares do not change. That was weird. He's also selling a diamond for a thousand coin, if you ever get that, ever get a thousand coin. I guess you probably do it, do it if you're good enough. But yeah. So anyways. Five chambers. We need one. My usual strategy is to start with ones that don't have elite enemies in them, just because it's easier, so... We're gonna go with Artemis. Try this way. I don't really know what else she could offer me, but fuck it, might as well take it. And here we now have, uh... Okay, there we go. We had some, uh, teacup enemies that are kind of like ones we fought already. They kind of shoot out projectiles at our location. And vermin. They're tiny and small and suck. Pretty much. And we have big vermin. They're big, tall, and suck. Why do these vermin carry coin? And they shoot out a poison that can be used at this spring here with this uh, thing here to heal your... or to get rid of the uh, poison. And then, of course, we just have crystals. They work as well as the other crystals. Usually my strategy here with the uh, sword is to just stand at a distance and hit them. It works pretty well. Oh god, and then satyrs themselves. Satyrs are quick, nimble, and fucking shoot out poison spears. I don't like anything that can poison me in this area. Alright, we did not hit it. We are now at the final area, and unfortunately, we did not find the Seder Sack. So, basically now, it just boils down to, like, any other boss pat or any other area. Beat all the enemies, and then I get the shit. 
Unfortunately, the shit ton of enemies and traps are going to make that kind of annoying to do. Oh, crap. And I just got poisoned. And I... There it is. I was going to say, I don't see where the thing is. Thankfully, that thing can be used multiple times, so you don't have to worry about it if you've had to use it once before. Me on my authority. Uh, here we go. Deal even more damage to enemies. I think I got enough to go and get a... Uh... I'm back. Yeah, I've got enough to get a heart from... Uh... Caron. Alright, so I guess next, uh, Palm of Power? Maybe? There we go. There we go. Uh... Just stay away from where the enemies can hit you. Stay away from those guys and then poison. And then hope that there is silence. And there isn't, so this isn't it. I say that because all the music stops in the room that actually has the, uh, that has the Seder sack. Oh, crap. There we go, fuck you. Oh, that's a big rat. Those are two big rats. Here you go, enjoy. Oh, crap. Sorry, I would like to maintain as much of my health as possible. There we go. Nice heartbreak strike. There you go. Not the uh, not the one I would have picked uh, first of all, but yeah, it'll do. Got to find something for Severus. Only 82 coins. All right, last one I guess. Aphrodite. Hope it's in one of those because I don't like dealing with elite enemies. It's like they're not difficult, but I mean, if you can luck out and it's in one of the easier areas, then yeah. Unfortunately, that is kind of the problem with this area. This is all about luck. You hope you went down the right path and pray that it's, uh... Pray that it's in one of the starting areas. Or pray it's in one of the first areas you went for. Because if not, well, nothing you can do about it except hope. Hope and pray. Come on, please be here. Silence. There it is. Disgusting. There's a sack. Also, for some reason, this room seems to have quite a few uh, urns that have money in it. I don't know if that's, like, something it's programmed to do, but it just seems to be something I've noticed. Uh, here you go, Aphrodite. Fuck it. Lady Aphrodite, I am truly blessed simply to have made your acquaintance, so this is for you. Lasting relationships are built on reciprocity. So if you lavish me with gifts, why, what am I to do but give you something in return? I'm honored, Aphrodite. Eternal Rose. In the name of Hades. Let's see. Uh, weak effects are more potent. Sure, why not? <clears throat> Much better. All right, and that means we get to go deal with the final boss. Oh, I can afford an Artemis one, too. 
Oh, yes. This will be really good. All right. All right, boy. I got your favorite treat. But you have to promise to let me pass if I hand it over, okay? Terrifying Cerberus accepts the fetid sack and scans the darkened hall for where best to consume the stomach-turning contents. Yummy. I owe you one more. <laughs> Cerberus vanquished. Not really. All right, and if you haven't guessed who the final boss is by now, well... I mean, it should be fairly obvious. grew accustomed to the air up here. It gusts senselessly whichever way it pleases. I suppose you must prefer it to the stillness of the air below. You know you're right. The air up here seems pretty good so far. But I will reserve judgment till I've had my fill. I have to say though, Father, the Helm of Darkness suits you. I'm touched you dust it off on my account. It should not have had to come to this. For all your antics with me yet around the house, I always kept my temper, have I not? Unlike you. Well, let's see. You've berated me repeatedly and often. You've lied to me, mustered your wretched forces to kill me over and over, but sure, I'll grant you that you've always kept most of your anger bottled up. All that's about to change, then? You know, fair argument. <laughs> We're gods, boy. Killing one another is a lot. Although I always thought I was above it. I told you that you cannot leave this place. It seems I must enforce my rules myself. I'm sending you home. Now. He probably will. No. I don't know if I'll actually be able to win. Ah, oh, shit. I suppose that you must hate the very sight of me. You'll understand then why I wear the Helm of Darkness. Ugh. This is where my commentary goes to shit as I try to beat him. Shit. I'm not doing so well right now. God damn. Nope. God, I'm really fucking up hard. Wow, I'm I'm just doing all kinds of shit today. Oh yeah, he remarks on who actually who actually was helping me. Damn. I killed by one of the other dudes. Hades didn't even kill me. But that was to be expected. I get super close, though. How's it going? Aw, oh, Hypnos isn't even here to remark on the fact. A moment, lad. I saw your father storm out of the house in his regalia. So he must have confronted you himself at last. I see that must have not gone well. You were so close. Oh yeah, you have no idea. Well, at least I know who will be waiting for me the next time I climb all the way to the Temple of Six and manage my way out. Don't lose heart, lad. I did not train your father, only you. He is a god, but he is just a god. If you'll forgive my bit of treason there. Oh, just a god, of course. Just a god. Hey, boy, just me again. It report it's pretty dangerous out there even without you on guard duty all the time. The venerable hound of hell barely acknowledges the softly spoken prince's platitude, knowing full well the underworld is not as vigilantly guarded as in ages past. Father's not back yet, huh? Alright, what have oh, we got? Fishing here. Oh damn it, I wish I had the diamond for the rod of fishing. The rod of fishing's so good. Uh, how much do I have? 47? 
Uh, hmm. Might as well go ahead and clean up these. Let's go with this one then. Whew, it's a big job having to sweep up after Cerberus sheds everywhere. Here you go. This ought to make the lounge a little more presentable until Cerberus wrecks it again. Yay! Oh, hello, Zagreus. You look a little down, and so I was just wondering. Would you perchance fancy a song right now? Uh, sure. How about In the Blood? That's one of your old hits, right? Oh, fancy that one, do you? Alas, I've not the heart to sing it anymore. I'm glad you like it, though. Well, thanks. Offer to sing and don't even give it to me. No sign of do so. Which is unfortunate, because I wanted to give her a bottle. Wretched broker, what's new, my friend? Oh, speaking of which, how much does a... Oh, it costs 10 nectar to get a fucking diamond. Might actually be worth it. Uh, actually, I just have to kill the bone hydra to get the diamond. Uh, man, if I had more keys, I would fucking undo one of the weapons. Cerberus featured house servant. We each have our commitments to this house, Megara. There is no shame in yours. And whilst your sisters are away, you bear their burden of responsibility as well. I understand. It's just... Am I supposed to keep pretending nothing's changed? This house is cracking at the seams, and no one's going to admit it? The house shall stand eternally. Although in what condition, it is ours to decide. Our obligation is to keep the house in order. I know. You're right. Of course you're right. I'll do my best. I'll do my best for both our sakes, Nix. What was that about? Excellent question. Oh, prophecies. Swift what I fulfill? The fated list. Oh, I didn't get that one. Got to the sea. What am I missing? Oh no, I'm, I know I'm missing one. Oh, I know the other two. Never mind. Actually, what did I get for Jethonic Knowledge? Uh, oh, I got... Cool. Uh, might as well go use this on a house collector. Or a house contractor, not house collector. Uh, fuck it, here you go. Hey, uh, Meg. Look, uh, I know you're just doing your job out there. And, anyway found this, thought of you and all that, so here. I, I'll see to it. This contraband is put away at once. Now, take your finder's fee and go about your business. I, uh... Skull earring. Father. Hey, where's Hypnos? Appreciate your patience. Uh, let's see, do you have anything? Just stuff I can buy for the, uh... Lounge now. That'll be important later. Uh, I'm gonna probably save up so I can get the Urns of Wealth greater. I said, I wouldn't mind getting that extra diamond so that I could get the, uh... Rod of Fishing. The mirror of Night. How else can I improve? Oh, there we go. Finally, think. Thick, thick skinned. No way. There we go. 25 extra starting health. Oh, that's already going to help. Also, I start out with 10 coin now. So, that's a positive. Excellent. All right. So, with that. We made it up to the top, and we've met our adversary, Hades himself. Will we be able to defeat the god of the underworld and make it to the surface? Well, only time will tell. So until then, I will catch you all later. Asta.